I'm Elizabeth Barry Cravis, and I'm a pediatric neurologist, and I work at Rush University Medical Center and the uh, co-director of the Molecular Diagnostics Lab here. Spinal muscular atrophy, in its most common form, comes from a mutation on chromosome 5, where there are several genes that look very similar to each other, called SMN1 and SMN2. And um, the important gene is SMN1. SMN2 is a copy gene. Patients with spinal muscular atrophy have SMN1 absent or abnormal on both of their chromosome fives. My name is John Milligan, and I'm a senior manager and scientist in research and development at Assurigen. There are a lot of risks um, if spinal muscular atrophy isn't detected early. Um, in fact, uh, in type 1 SMA, infants lose 90% of their motor neurons by the time they're six months of age, and it's the leading genetic cause of infant death. The treatment for spinal muscular atrophy has come light years in the last few years, and really, when we first started to see what some of these treatments were doing in these patients, it looked almost miraculous. Being able to stand and walk and go upstairs and even run, um, it, was, it was a pretty um, significant moment for many of us child neurologists who were, who, who've seen these patients over the years. It's very clear that you only have a few month window at the beginning of life to treat patients in order to have the optimal outcome. One, you know, has to be able to diagnose the patient before they would necessarily come to clinical attention. And so this is why um, SMA has been approved by the RUSP for newborn screening. And that way, in the states that have implemented newborn screening for SMA, um, patients are screened at birth for the condition. And so um, having a test that will roll over very rapidly um, and give you, a give you a confirmatory result is very important because then you can initiate treatment immediately, uh, really before the patient might even have any symptoms. For SMA testing, there's a lot of complexity to this. To really get the full picture, you need copy numbers, you need to know the status of different variants, hybrid genes. The Amplidex SMN12 Plus Kit is a really simple protocol that's PCR based and it can be completed in under four hours. And it covers all the information you need about both SMN1 and SMN2, including copy numbers, variants, and hybrid status. So it gives you the complete picture that you need to really understand your test. And it also comes with software that has a push button analysis that includes QC and calibration of the samples and gives you sample information in about five minutes. Recently, with our most recently identified baby from the newborn screening program here at Rush, we were able to um, have the confirmatory test back in one day, which I think is very exciting because that baby turned out to be a carrier, but if that baby had had SMA, we would literally have been able to um, implement treatment within like a week of seeing the baby. A few years ago, um, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology and as well the other um, agency, American College of Medical Genetics and Genomics, um, both recommended that women who are pregnant or considering pregnancy be screened for a variety of recessive disorders, one of which is for spinal muscular atrophy. For carrier testing, SMN1 copy number is the most important because that's going to determine um, if you're a carrier, if you have one copy. However, if you have two or more copies, um, it's possible that they're on the same chromosome and your other chromosome has zero copies of SMN1, and that's what we call silent carriers. Now, there are several variants associated with silent carriers that we can use to, in all ethnicities, um, determine the the relative risk of being a carrier, but in some ethnicities even diagnose silent carrier status. And we've already actually identified a few potential carriers who have linked variants, and so they've had subsequent genetic counseling, et cetera, to help refine their risk. The Amplidex SMN12 Plus Kit is one reaction that gives you all the information you need about two genes, SMN1 and 2, and three variants within those genes in under four hours. So it really provides a nice, elegant, simple solution to a very complex workflow.